Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just got home from work uh, and chucked on something comfortable. And I seen on my front door set when I got home that I received a package. So I received my parcel from Adore Beauty. I have been waiting for probably about two months now. Ever since I found out about this foundation, I have wanted it. So I've been waiting about two months for it to come back in stock uh, and I got an email the other day saying that it was back in stock and I was like oh my gosh I have to get some I've heard really good things about it so the foundation that I got is the new ordinary the ordinary foundation I don't know if that's gonna focus real well so yeah I seen some makeup artists around me using this one and said that it was really really good uh, I think it was about $12 each Australian, which is freaking awesome for a foundation. What I'm going to do for you guys today is give it a little a try on my face. I'm going to remove the makeup that I have on now and I'm going to apply the foundation. Um, it is about, what is the time? It's about uh, 20 past 1. So what I'm going to do is apply the foundation uh, and then wear it for the rest of the day as long as I can and see how it goes and I'm going to update you guys through the rest of the day and show you what it's looking like and how it's sitting on the skin. My skin is really quite oily, so yeah, we will see how this foundation goes. I'm going to quickly take this makeup off and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I've just taken off all my makeup. I've got all my shades just here. I'm just gonna go through and firstly just show you guys the shades that I got. So the first shade that I got was 1.0 N. This is a fair neutral shade. So this, I think this is the lightest shade you can get. The next shade that I got was 1.2 N light neutral. The next one that I got is 1.2 Y light yellow. So that's that one there. The fourth one I got is 2.0 N light medium neutral. The last one that I got is 3.0 Y medium dark yellow. That's that one. I feel like this shade will be really good to mix in with a lighter shade for my fake tan. So that's the only one I got from the level 3. As I was told not to get any from level 3, but I thought I would just try one just to show you guys. So they are the five colours that I got. I will do some swatches of those ones and I will put it in the next clip for you. So I've just done a quick swatch for you guys. So here are the four colours that I got. They're the most terrible swatches because I just sort of pulled the pump out of the bottle and just like wiped it on my arm. The first one is 1.0N. This is the very fair neutral shade. The second one is 1.2N light neutral. The third one is 1.2 yellow. This is a light, a light yellow one, sorry. The fourth one is 2.0N, which is light medium neutral. And the last one is 3.0 yellow. This is the medium dark yellow shade. So I'll just give you guys a little bit of information about these ones. I'm just going to hop on their website and read out what this foundation is meant to do. I think I said this at the start, but it has 21 shades. This product retails for $12.90 Australian. I get this off Adore Beauty, so I didn't get it off the actual, um, the ordinary website. And Adore Beauty also has Afterpay available for these foundations as well. This foundation has a 3.9 average rating and 66.67% would recommend it to a friend. So it that kind of seems a bit low to me though. So we'll soon find out whether it's good or not. Um, so I've just clicked on product info here. There is like, seriously, all of this writing about it. I'm not reading all of that, but I'll just read out some key points to you. Apparently there's a worldwide demand for this product at the moment, which I don't, which I'm not surprised by because it took me about a month to even get an email saying that my shades that I wanted were in stock. So there's that. Um, it has a shade range of 21 shades. These foundations have a higher pigment level than our serum foundations, but still offer a smooth finish that avoids the heavy makeup look that can make skin appear, uh, appear more aged. 
the texture is that of a lightweight non-oily cream so non-oily really sticks out to me because I have quite oily skin so I'm hoping it will help with my oily skin and the fact that it says lightweight is awesome too because it's nothing worse than having this feeling of a big cakey mess on your face it does say here that it claims to have a 15 percent spf which i'm not too worried about because a lot of foundations that i have tried before do have that 15 percent spf in them but it does not create uh, any flashback in my experience anyway so i'm just reading through the reviews here and it's sort of a hit and miss product a lot of people have said that they really wanted to like it but it wasn't for them but then I've got a lot of comments here saying, there's one saying I looked five years younger when I put this on. Um, it's got very good fan foundation coverage, great coverage, great foundation, great price point. There is a lot of good comments that sort of outweigh those bad ones. So I'll give you guys a good look at the bottle for this one. So that is what the bottle looks like. It's got a pump bottle. The top bit is a matte feeling uh, sort of plastic. Um, actually, the whole bottle is sort of a matte feeling, which is quite nice actually. Although it does get quite dirty as you can see. But the bottle just says the Ordinary Colors Coverage Foundation High Coverage Foundation Formula. They It sort of just seems like they wanted to... Um, fill up some space and reworded things like seven times but okay the directions on the back says shake well before use dispense a small ugh, my gosh dispense a small amount into the palm or the back of your hand smooth on and blend throughout the face ideally outwards from the midpoint of the face going to use a beauty blender because that's what I usually use so looking at the swatches on my arm I'm gonna go in with the 1.2 n light neutral and I'm just gonna give it a good shake before I apply it I'm just gonna apply a moisturizer first I never use I barely ever use primers I usually only use a moisturizer I give it a fair shot and just use what I always use so I just use the Olay moisturizing cream for sensitive skin. I'm just going to take one pump. Actually, I might do one and a half. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to set up a mirror first. I'm going to pop this. Oh, I've got moisturizer everywhere. Pop this all over the face. I think I'm definitely going to have to put a little bit more of this one on because at the moment it's not really a full coverage, it's more of a medium to full coverage. Although I don't really like a full coverage, I'm more of a medium coverage sort of person. This went on quite nicely, I'm, I feel like it's just melting straight into my skin which is exactly what I want. I'm just going to have a closer look. So from what I'm seeing guys, this looks really really good perfect color match as well it doesn't seem to be emphasizing any of my pores or any fine lines which is really really good oh I might have to blend this side over a little bit more I've just completely neglected that side of my face really quite impressed for the price point of this foundation it's gone on absolutely perfectly I'm not sure what this was meant to be if it was meant to be a matte or a dewy or what but it's I wouldn't say it's a dewy foundation or a matte foundation I'd sort of say it's probably uh, maybe a semi matte I just finished my makeup I just put on a very basic everyday makeup so this is what the foundation is looking like now you probably can't see too well in this lighting but yeah, it's looking immaculate. Like I can't really see anything wrong with it. Everything that I sort of put over top of it blended out perfectly. And yeah, it just looks really, really nice on the skin. So the products that I used was my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, my RCMA No Color Powder, my Hoola by Benefit in the light shade. Then my Merry Luminizer highlighter. For my brows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I think that's about... Oh, and my MAC 
Fix Plus setting spray as well. I will give you a closer look at it so that you can, you guys can have a look for yourself. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but we can give this a go. This is what it looks like up nice and close and personal. So I'm really, really impressed with this foundation so far. We will see how it goes on my oily skin. Uh, I will do a flash test for you guys just so you, you can see if there is any flashback with this foundation too. As it does have 15% um, SPF in it as well. I really don't think it's going to make a difference just because I have lots of foundations that have the 15% SPF in it and it doesn't really make a difference at all. If anything, it'll make the tiniest bit of difference and no one will even notice in your photos anyway. So as you can see in the photos, there isn't really any flashback at all. If there is, it's only the tiniest, tiniest bit. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on for as long as I can. It's about 1.30 now. I might do about two or three check-ins with you guys if I can. Because it is so late in the afternoon, I hate having my makeup on really late. Like as soon as I get home from work, I love to just take it off and just let my skin breathe because I have to wear it every day. So I'm going to leave it on as long as I can just for this video. So yeah, I will see you guys in the first check-in. Hey guys, so it is now 7 o'clock. It has been about six and a half hours. So this is what the foundation is looking like now. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit oily on my nose area. Um, my chin's feeling really good actually. My chin is usually the place... My chin and my nose is usually, and like around my nose, is usually where I get the most oily during the day. So my chin's actually really good. Like there's barely any oil coming off that at all. Like there's, it's pretty much still matte. Um, as for my nose, it's a little bit oily here and across my nose. But I usually get quite oily in those spots anyway. Uh, my forehead usually gets quite oily too. My forehead is actually, it's got a little bit of oil on it, but nothing like too extreme. So yeah, overall it's still looking pretty good. I'll give you guys a bit of a close up. Excuse my lips, my lips are freaking horrible. I had like a bit of lip balm on it, but it's like rubbed off now. So this is what it's looking like. As you can see, there is a bit of oil on my nose there if my camera wants to focus yeah so there's the oil there over here still all really matte that's just my highlight so yeah just on my nose and I always get really oily in these spots here because I have quite large pores um, I usually lose a bit of foundation across here but the foundation seems to be sitting quite well still there and yeah it's all looking pretty good um, I have I have some spots here where my sunglasses are sitting, so that's completely my fault. That's not the foundation at all. That happens with every foundation that I use. So I'm not sure whether you guys can see much, but yeah, that's sort of what the foundation is looking like. I am seriously so impressed with this foundation. And I think I said before that it was $12. I just had a look at my... Um, what is it called? Receipt. And it said that they were $11.73, I think, which is such a good price for this, this foundation. I reckon that if I got some blotting powders, uh, some blotting papers around here and just maybe put some more powder to sort of trap those oils in, I think that this foundation would last a whole lot longer still. Like it hasn't come off or anything. It's just that my oils are sort of poking through a bit, which it usually does. Like it I haven't found a finger, fang, ugh, I haven't found a foundation yet that holds all my oil in place. Um, but yeah, I might do one more check-in. I think maybe um, in another two hours or an hour or so, and then I'm gonna have to take it off um, because I need to have a shower and sort of wash my hair and stuff. But yeah, no, it's lasted quite well. I will wear this to work tomorrow as well. And my work days are usually about eight hours or so, so. What I'll do is I will, I won't film it, I'll write it down in the comments after I've sort of posted the video. I'll write it down in the comments and let you guys know how the foundation goes over a whole day and being busy and working and stuff. I will do another check-in with you guys and I will let you know how it goes. 
Hey guys, so this is what my skin's looking like now. It's about 9 o'clock at night. Um, as you can see here, my skin is still quite oily around my nose and where my large pores are next to my nose. Although it hasn't gotten any more oily than it was in the first clip that I showed you. Everywhere else is still looking really, really good. I have no more excess oil on my forehead or my chin or around my cheeks or anything. It's still looking very very nice so yeah it's basically just around my nose area that's really oily but it usually always is so i would say if i did get some blotting papers and then just pat some powder over top that it would still last a lot longer than it has so yeah um i'm very very impressed with this foundation overall and i would highly recommend it to you guys um if you have any other questions about it then just leave a comment down below also if you liked this video then please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys